Greetings and salutations YouTube, it's Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. Today's gonna be a rather epic haul video, I think. It's gonna be um, a culmination of hauls from various thrift videos that I've done um, since I did um, a little series with the OC Goodwill. And these are just things that I didn't, that I just purchased um, separately from the videos that I did. So, uh, and also from like a couple other videos that I put up the 50 videos for and didn't have all video because I haven't filmed it yet. So, this is that. But if you guys are interested in seeing those videos, I'll have them all linked right there and down below in the description box as well. And if you guys love thrifting, you love thrift hauls, you love vlogs, do not forget to subscribe. Hit that little bell button for notifications. I do post videos every single day. And check out my Instagram, it's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here. And check out my shop at it's Hadrian.com to see what I have for sale from my thrifting adventures. And I just noticed how like very like fall and kind of like Halloween-y, like the background is like with a strip carpet, like the black and white. I'm wearing my Amok shirt and it's black and white as well. And one of you guys gave it to me, so thank you guys again very, very much. I have my Mickey right there. Like everything is like really cool. And I have like pops of yellow and like the red. There's actually like some orange and red back there too. That's a little mask that I put on my planter. Anyway, back to what i'm like looking at the viewfinder i'm like ooh, look at all those things um okay so let me show you guys what i ended up getting because i got some really 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 great stuff i'm gonna start off with this this is um they're like like light up cat eyes i'm actually gonna put these in my window because my window faces out to the front of the house and i think this is gonna be perfect they're so so cute i hope it looks good though because i feel like I don't know if my windows are like, my windows are not this close together, I think. I don't know. Anyway, um, we'll see how it looks. Otherwise, I'm going to put these somewhere else. But they're so fun, and I hope they actually light up and work. Because I actually, I actually haven't tried it yet. So, um, check it out in the next vlog. I should have, I should have this tried out and let you guys know. Uh, if you guys are interested in seeing that. But, oh, how much was this? Um... It was $6.99. I don't know how much it was at the store. Oh, no, it was $20. The Hadrian's like right there. It was originally $20, $20, got it for $7 at the Goodwill. Um, oh, okay, so the next thing I got is this uh, brand new like gumball kind of machine and it's white. I thought it would be really fun to put some candy in it for the holidays and it's like brand new, so it has like the plastic on it, but I think I'm definitely gonna like rinse it out still anyway because you never know, right? Um, so this I thought was really, really fun to have another gumball machine right over there and it's like green and gold and I haven't filled it up with any candy yet but I did get one of these bags of M&M's for that which I actually got from the thrift store as well this was only a dollar and yeah peanut M&M's are delicious so I'm very excited about that leave that right there so I'm gonna wash that out and then dry it up and then fill it up with candy I think that'll be really really fun then okay so i was really excited about this little guy and it's just a little le creuset um pot like a little dutch oven in miniature and it's in yellow my most favorite color it's missing the lid but i was like you know what i don't care it's yellow it's a dollar 99 and i was like i can put like i just set this on the kitchen counter or something and put i don't know salt in it candy I could put a plant in here. Oh, I'm gonna put a plant in here. That would be really cute. So $1.99 was, I think, a pretty good deal for that because it's so adorable and I do love Lake Crusade so much and yellow is my favorite color. Uh, then I found this really cool Vera Bradley plastic see-through bag. It has like the quilted pattern on it, like painted on, says Vera Bradley on the front and then it has like the Vera Bradley, um, it's kind of like a coated canvas. And it has like a crossbody strap. I just thought this was really neat. I've never seen a Vera Bradley like this before, and it was only three dollars and ninety nine cents. And yeah, I love a good clear bag. So I thought this would, I thought this would be fun. I thought um, you guys would like it. So I picked it up. I'm just gonna be up in the shop again. It's Hadrian.com if anyone is interested. And I'll have this up there by the time you guys watch this video. I actually have a lot of handbags in this video. I think so. Uh, and I'm kind of just going to go randomly with this stuff that I'm showing you guys. Uh, the next thing I have here is, this is uh, another thing, I think this was actually from Target. No, it wasn't. It has like a regular sticker. This was $7.99. Um, it's $14.99 originally, so it's 
half off. Um, but they are spider lights and they light up. I think that'll be really, really fun. I don't exactly know where I'm going to put these. I might put them around the front of the house. Um, or use it somewhere instead. I might put it up, I have like a mirror right there that I think this would look really fun on as well. But I'm gonna like open it up and see how long it actually is. It says it's, the lighted length is six feet, so it's not like the longest. So, I thought this was really cool though. And yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm on a mission to thrift all of my Halloween decor and so far I've been pretty successful with thrifting all the, like all my new stuff that I thrifted this, like that I, for Halloween that I got this year. All thrifted um, last year I got some stuff from like Walmart and yeah I think just Walmart but this year I'm trying to go all thrift so very excited about these lights and like those cat eye lights I think are really really fun okay what else do I have here oh I was really excited about this because I love that show Stranger Things if you guys love Stranger Things let me know down below in the comments uh, but I got an 11 with Eggos and she's like the 8-bit version which is so cool because that is like so during the time period of this show. Um, the box is a little bit damaged but I don't care. Like I thought this was really really cute and it was only $4.99. I want to try and collect the whole gang. So very 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 excited about this pop figurine. What else do I have inside this little baggie? Oh, I got okay. I thought this was so cute, and it's actually like a little porcelain hand, and you can put like your jewelry on it. I thought it was really fun. Um, I think they gave this to me for ninety nine cents because it didn't have a price tag on it, and I just thought this was really really fun. It has like a little floral motif around the rim, which I think is really cute. It speaks to my inner grandma. She's just like, yes, that is so cute. Porcelain and flowers. It's not a teacup, but it's close enough. So I thought that was really cute. And the next thing I have here, I got this really fun, um, the Hungry Caterpillar, like, toy. It's, like, brand new. It still has, like, the tags on it. And this was $3.99. I think it has, like, little puzzle pieces. or No, it's, like, that matching game where you match, like, the pieces together. So, um, I thought this was really cute. Eliza's really into these kinds of things right now, like, with these, like, games. So, I thought this was really fun. Plus, he does love the Hungry Caterpillar. And this is just so cute. Even, like... Just like decoratively, like this would be so cute, like on a bookshelf. Oh, so cute. Mm. So I'm very, very excited about the Hungry Caterpillar. Um, okay, what else do I have in here? Next thing I have to show you guys. Okay, so this book was super cool. It's called Glamorous Rooms by Jan Showers. And I just thought it's about home decor and the book itself is on this really really cool like leopard print which I definitely appreciate and then it just has like all these glam rooms inside so very 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 excited about this and I don't remember how much this was I think they gave it to me for like a few dollars as well because it didn't have a price tag on it so very 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 fun I love it oh Okay, so these are another thing that I was really, really, really excited about. And they're so stinking cute. These are um, actually from Pottery Barn. I remember when they had these at Pottery Barn. And they usually have them uh, during the summertime because this is part of like the summer like collection. And it's just like the two little canisters, one for mustard and one for ketchup. They were $2.99 each with a combined total of $6, which I think is a pretty fair price. Um, I forgot how much these were, but they came in a set too at Pottery Barn. And I think it was about like 20 something, $25 maybe, but really, really cute. They're in great condition. I opened them up, the spoons and stuff are still in great shape. So very, very, very excited about these guys. And I cannot wait to use them. Zach just ran behind the camera. Uh, what else do I have inside this bag right here? I have another mug right here. It's an Anthropology J mug, which I do collect. So I love these mugs so, so much. And I cannot wait to add this to the collection. I think it's going to be another awesome piece to add in there because, you know, love mugs. And hold on one second. Okay, <laughs> the next thing that I have here is this really cool set of plates. They're actually Crate and Barrel and they are $1.99 each and they have like different like alcoholic beverages beverages on them and 
No one in my family drinks, but I thought these were so cute. It'd be really cute um, on a bar cart. So here there's a Moscow Mule one. And one called Negroni. I don't even know what that is. Then, oh, a zombie. This one's fun, like a tiki cup. Yes. And then last, oh, this one's really cute because it has like lemons. It's an old fashioned. So, how fun are these? They're so cute. And you can see them, like, use them as like little appetizer plates and just, like, really, really cute. So, very excited about these little plates. I can't wait to wash them up and set them on like one of the, oh, maybe even this bar cart back there. You see that bar car or like the other one over there so they're gonna be a really cute addition to these house what else do i have here okay so i have a bunch of these anthropology mugs that I've just thrifted um there's the c mug so i have the j and i have the c this one was two dollars and 99 cents and it's funny because a lot of the ones that i found are this floral motif one so thought I was gonna drop something that I was gonna break, but I didn't, I caught it. But yeah, so we have the J, we have the C. Let's set that over there. Oh, then I got this for um my Apple Watch, and it's just a like a plastic sports band in like a bright blue color. So this was only two dollars and ninety-nine cents. Um, but I think they were just five dollars at Target, but I was like, whatever, these are still cool anyway, and I can just like change them out with um with like whatever I want to wear so very ha happy about this I've just been looking for like different bands and I think like the Goodwill is such a good place to find um, those Apple Watch bands especially the ones in Orange County because they do have the new ones and they have like the like they even have um, the Apple brand ones sometimes too but I remember finding them in the past but they were always for the smaller watch and then recently ever since I thrifted my watch I haven't been able to find really any um, wrist or watch bands so um, whenever I see them I pick them up this is another one that I got this was the metal one that I have right now it's my watch is actually charging but um, this one I got for seven dollars and ninety nine cents and it was a metal one that's the metal one that you see me wearing all the time that's on my wrist um, oh a so I have an A uh, mug as well from Anthropology. This one was a dollar ninety nine. See, they're all like that. They're, they're all the same um, collection, which I think is so cool. Then I got these. Uh, I got these for Halloween too. Uh, they're just like the little fairy lights, but these are in red. This one was two dollars and ninety nine cents. And then I got this, uh, I think this is Hobo? Yeah, a Hobo International um, wristlet pouch for $5.99. The wristlet is actually tucked away inside there. So you pull it out and then you can carry it on your wrist or you put it in, tuck it inside. And the interior is just like bright pink and it has six card slots, then a bill slot. So you can actually use this as a large wallet if you wanted to too. But it's great because it's such a large size. It's really soft so like it just like you can carry a lot inside of here which I think is fantastic so very excited about that plus like Hobo International such great quality pieces I love their wallets um, then up next I have these um, Loeffler Randall flats oh mom and dad just came home hello these Loeffler Randall flats for seven dollars and 99 cents 99 cents these actually fit mom so she's very excited about them and they're size eight and a half. Um, next thing I have here is this Eglidon game. I thought this would be super fun with the kids. And I don't know, like you smash the eggs on your head to see which one like, cracks open. I think that's super fun. So I don't know, I think the kids will like it. We play it outside. Um, 10 bucks for that. Oh, and then because I am such a huge Harry Potter fan, and I feel like I want to be Harry Potter for Halloween, I think this would be really funny if I carried this around with me. And it's a little um, Hedwig backpack. Even though I feel like he honestly wouldn't be able to carry anything. Like, I don't even think my cell phone would fit in here, so. Uh, but he's still really cute regardless, and Eliza actually really likes him too. And he was only $3.99, so I was very excited about Hedwig. And I don't know, I feel like I should use them to decorate around the house too, but maybe I'll put, oh, I'm gonna hang them on the coat rack by the door. That would be so cute. I think I'm gonna do that actually. 
That's a good idea. That's he goes with Harry Potter. Can you guys see him? He's like kind of sitting on a chair. Um, okay, what else do I have inside this little bag of goodies? Oh, I had to get this because the dog kind of looks like Peanut, but I know it's a corgi. But it's just like a little, I think it's a planter. Right? He's a little planter. He was only $1.99. How cute. Look at his little tail. So adorable. Right? So cute. Okay, so. Love him. I'm gonna get him a, like a little cactus or something to put inside. Then, this is actually something I got from Savers. Um, but, uh, I don't know how, I don't think I ever showed it to you guys. But it's just like a, he's like a Robin from Teen Titans. Kids love this show. So I'm just gonna throw him in the washing machine and then he'll be good to go. Little Robin right there. Oh, and I got this for the dogs too. Um, more, more specifically Peanut, cause he just like tends to gobble down his food so quickly. I thought this would be like an entertaining way to get him to eat, but you put like the food inside of here and then he has to like flip it around and then some of the food comes out of this other thing that he can eat it. So I don't know, I thought this was kind of cool. Um, it's called the Magic Mushroom Treat Dispensing Thing. Um, so yeah, I thought this was cool, right? It's kind of interesting. Uh, it was $3.99. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Maybe I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll like show it to you guys when he's trying it out, but maybe I'll try it out tomorrow. <gasps> he's gonna be so mad. <laughs> but I thought this was really cool, so I thought that was interesting. Then the next thing I have here, I got these really cute Tory Birch little flip-flops. And they are like the wedges kind. And what size are these? What size are you? I don't know. I'm gonna have to ask Mom to try them on. Maybe they're her size, actually. Do you think they're her size? It doesn't say anywhere what size they are, so... I do not know. I just bought them. <laughs> but I think they're size eight and a half, maybe. Okay, so then I got these. I don't know, I've always wanted to try these and they were a dollar forty nine each. And they're like the um like they're like the spray deodorant, like antiperspirant. I don't know, it's supposed to last for forty eight hours. Um, I don't know. I've always wanted to try it and then I saw them like for super cheap. And I was like, oh, I'm going to get one. And I was like, what if I really like them? So I was like, I'm going to get a couple more. Um, if anything, I can give them to John and see if he likes it too. So these are really cool. I always buy like, I don't know, random stuff from the Goodwill like this. I really like um, when they have the Batiste uh, dry shampoo at the Goodwill. Like that's like my favorite. I love dry shampoo. You can use it to give yourself so much texture in your hair. Amazing. Uh, okay. So then, up next. Gosh, that has so much stuff, you guys. Um, okay, so I have this, um, what brand is this called? Oh, Akemi and Kin. And this is in a size large. Look at this blouse, it's so cute. This is, um, an this is from Anthropology. How cute is that? It has like the stripes and on the black, it has the flowers. Um, I got this for mom to see if it would fit her. I'm not too sure though. Um, but, I don't know, it's really cute, so either uh, mom will keep it or I'll put it up in the shop, but this was really, really fun. I liked the, like, the look of it, and it was $5.99. And then, okay, so, um, I saw this and I was like, what is this? And then, I remember I saw, like, like a video on YouTube, like, um, about these things, and these are, like, like, little toys that you can connect to Wi-Fi and you can talk to your kids with them. And I thought it'd be really funny if I got this for the boys and see if I can get it to work. Um, this little thing was in here. Just needs some batteries. Uh, I'll have to read the directions somewhere online to figure out how to use it. But I thought this was really cool. And yeah, so... There you go. And I think they gave it to me for like $2.99 because I don't think it had a price on it. Hi, John. Do you want to show everyone your shirt? This is one of the things I got, but I already gave it to John and I never showed it in the hall. Just stand right here next to me. Show them your cool shirt. Yeah, Tiny Rick. 
Do you guys watch Rick and Morty? Comment down below if you guys do. Alright, thanks, John. Yeah. Okay, so, what else do I have here? Oh! Okay, so check this out. I thought this was super cool. It's like a Monstera leaf, like, statue thing. And it's, like, in silver. It has, like, a wood base. And then it has, like, metal brackets holding it up. I thought this was really, really cool. Especially because I love... Monstera plants. Those are like my favorite plant. I think I think it's one of my favorites top five for sure um, So I had to get this um, I think the sticker has already fallen off. It was like right there But um, I think it was like two ninety nine to three ninety nine or something, but isn't this super cool? I love it. Love Monstera. I have to figure out where I'm gonna put that Okay, then Nah, it's never ending. Um, I got this really cute Christmas Starbucks mug because I have like this like this idea that for Christmas I want to bring out all of my Christmas mugs. And then I thought to myself, hey Adrian, you barely have any Christmas mugs. So I was like, I'm gonna have to start getting some Christmas mugs. Um, so, you know, like some like hot chocolate or um, some apples, um, some uh, hot apple cider or something like. Come on, right? So I want to grow my collection of Starbucks Christmas mugs. So that's gonna be like my new thing that I'm looking for right now are Christmas Starbucks mugs. They're gonna, it's gonna be awesome. So, um, so of course I'm still gonna be looking for my anthropology mugs with the letters, but Starbucks Christmas mugs, I'm on you guys. So I'm looking for you guys. Hopefully I find more. I'm running out of space to put things. Um, okay, so then okay, look at this cute little blue and white cat. I had to get him. He was only a dollar ninety nine. Um, he's so adorable. I just love. I just love him. So I had to get him. He's gonna go with my blue and white collection, which I actually just took down um, in preparation for all the fall decor. So uh, I'm kind of sad because he never got to go out with them. But the next time I bring them out, he's definitely gonna be out there. Maybe I'll put him somewhere else, though, like maybe on the bookshelf or something. Um, next thing I got here is. I don't know what these are called, um, but this one is like, it's, it's uh, this is an artichoke, but um, like you put like your ladle or like when you're, you're cooking spatula or whatever inside of here while you're cooking, and I don't know, I just wanted like another one because we have one, but I feel like it, sometimes you have multiple things that you're using to cook with and you can't just stick them all together on the thing because then they all touch and then you contaminate the food and blah 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 blah, so I wanted like another kind of like um, one of these and I thought this was really cute and it was only 99 cents so I was like why not and I think this was actually half off so it might have been 50 cents so it's a really cute and it's like kind of dirty but it's an artichoke I'm gonna throw that in the dishwasher then I know this is probably came with a bonsai but I thought this was really really cute and I wanted to um do something with this like I had like a little idea that I wanted to do with this and do like a mound of like grass or I don't know something but um I don't know I always get these things that I think I'm gonna do a cool project with them and I never end up doing them for like two years but um I'm determined this one was also another one that was half off so this I got for two dollars it was four. Oh, check this out so this was like a cool like statue thing I, I don't know who it is. Um, do you guys know who this is? Or if this is like a famous statue or something, I don't know. But um, he was $4.99. But I think it was half off, maybe. I don't remember. It's been so long since I purchased these things. So there you go. He's probably gonna go in the library, actually, because I think he'll look fabulous back here. He's very like library-esque. So he's sitting back there right now. Um, oh, okay, so then, check out this bag. I got this beautiful black MZ Wallace. It didn't come with the crossbody straps, though, unfortunately. I remember where I got this. This is actually from the um, Costa Mesa Goodwill. I remember, I do remember that. And then, I, I bought a lot of mugs. Man, they're still wrapped up, too. Okay, but I don't even remember exactly which ones they were. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So I did get, um, what's really, really cool too, that I think I showed you guys in the vlog, yeah, like a, from yesterday or from a few days ago, uh, when I went thrifting, I, so I got, this is the, um, Love is Love mug from William Sonoma, and you can get them from William Sonoma, part of our West Elm, um, and I actually thrifted one of these mugs, 
a while back, so this is the second one, but like when I went thrifting two days ago, and you guys have seen it in the vlog, I thrifted four of the plates, so I'm really, really excited. Now I'm, I'm determined to find two more mugs so I can have like a one mug and one plate situation. Um, I would love a total of eight. That would be really, really cool. So I'm going to definitely keep an eye out for them. But it's cool to find another mug. And this one is literally brand new. It still has this little tag on it. And it still has a sticker on the bottom as well. So there's that. I'll toss it over there. Oh, I was so excited for this one. So this is an anthropology mug but with the gold H. I really wanted to like hopefully find a gold H anthropology mug and I finally found one. Um, it's so cute. A couple of you guys have messaged me about finding them like at your various stores and it was really cool to see that they were out there and I finally got my hands on one and it was $2.99 for this. And then here I have an e-mug. And this is like in another, this is the third um, style of anthropology mugs that I um, have in my collection because I have the ones I showed you with the H and then the ones with the flowers like this and then these, which are a black and a white. And I really like these two. They're very like elegant and I love the handle on them. They're so fun. <gasps> oh, I just noticed that this one was broken and glued back on. Totally okay. Totally fine. I, I cannot believe I didn't notice that. Sometimes it happens. I get like really, really excited and like I don't notice things have like... I always try to look really hard but sometimes it just doesn't happen. Oh, I had to get this mug. Um, and it says SWEET on there and it's pink. I thought this was really sweet. And this is actually a Starbucks mug which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, this one was $2.99. I think like for um... For like the holidays. Um, I'm um, like when, when I give out gifts, I'm gonna do like a lot of mug giving as like part of it. I don't know. Like I'm gonna work it some way. Like maybe like get a ribbon, wrap the present, and then attach like a mug, like with the ribbon. Like put the ribbon through it, and I think it'll be really cute. So I don't know. I think I might do something like that. Um, wouldn't that be fun? And then I got okay. I also got another Starbucks mug, and it's this one. I really like these ones for some reason. Those are like white on white, but then it's like etched in there. I thought this was really fun. Um, and then the inside is just green. Man, I just went mug crazy. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine mugs, one haul. Crazy. So yeah, and then, um, is that it? Oh. A secret mug. <laughs> There's one more H, so I found ten. But this is an H, so it's like essential. Uh, and of course, they made the H in the yellow, which is my favorite color, which makes me very happy. So, H. Ooh, I found two H mugs. What are the odds? <coughs> Okay, so that is it for the mugs. And then here is the bag. Again, this bag is also going to be up in the shop. Um, if anyone is interested, and this one I got for $10. There's that. What else do I have to show you guys? Oh! Is there anything in here? <laughs> 11. <laughs> but this is a really cute one. This is really, really pretty. Um, at first when I saw it, I was like, ooh, color splotches, but then if you look carefully, this is actually like a world map type of deal. Um, I'm pretty sure this is like Africa, Europe, Asia, Americas, there you go, Canada, North America, South America, and all that jazz. This one was only $3.99. It was originally $18.95. The sticker is still on the bottom. It's missing the top, but I have a lot of the tops that go with the, um, these guys. So I can just take one from another one if I wanted to use this. Plus, it's really pretty. I really like the colors. And, yeah. I really like these. I don't know. I don't even drink that much hot coffee anymore. <gasps> but once it gets cold, I can definitely drink a lot of, like, warm things. Like hot chocolate. I haven't really been into coffee recently and I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like oh, but I don't know like coffee like I think I don't know 
I've just been more into like cold beverages recently. So give me like an iced coffee maybe. Ooh, an iced coffee, that sounds delightful. Um, the next thing I have here is this lamb bag by Gwen Stefani. Um, it's actually in really great condition, just dusty. Um, it just needs a good like cleaning and conditioning. The interior is in pretty good shape. There's like a little red um, stain, looks like it might've been lipstick. So we'll try to get that out. But this guy was, I think it was $15. So that guy, I'm gonna drop him down over there. Man, is this like my longest haul ever? It might be. Um, okay. Oh, okay. I was really excited for these. So these are Cartier cards. They were only two dollars and ninety nine cents, and they are just like plain cards. But they're like the fancy, like the paper is like so, so fancy. It's just like white, like a, like a cream color, and then it's red. So, I don't know, I just thought these were really, really pretty. Um, I would have bought them even if they weren't Cartier, because I have like this obsession with, um, what, what are these called? Stationery? And let me show you guys the envelope. Oh, the envelope is so nice. So like the inside is red and then like it's like the cream on the outside and then all it has is like uh, an embossed Cartier thing right there and it's so cool. I love these so much. I think they're so pretty. So really excited. Um, I, I remember I thrifted some Cartier um, ones like this before but I forgot what they were. I gave them to mom I think. So um, but yeah really excited. Mom and I have like the same love of stationery. So, I don't know, she might even actually end up taking this. But look at the box. The box is so fancy. I wonder how much these cost, like, normally. I remember I looked it up when I found the other um, box of Cartier cards. And I remember it was, like, really expensive. So, that was exciting. Um, next thing I have here is this Hobo International Wallet. And the I love the floral print whenever they do these. I think they're so pretty. So, it's like a printed floral. And this was $5.99. Look at that interior. It's very rare to see a solid color um, from Hobo International. Usually they have like some sort of print. Um, but this was this one is a delight. And I think it's because like it already has a print maybe that it does that. But um, yeah, this is such a cute wallet and it's so gorgeous. I love the print so much. And then, inside here, I have another lamb bag. This is, I feel like, this is more like that quintessential um, Gwen Stefani lamb style bag. And it has, like, the embossed design. It has the racing stripes. And it has, like, this really cute lock and then a tassel. I think this is so fun. This bag is in such great shape as well. It, very, it has very light signs of wear. And it's just really, really cute. I really like it. Okay, then last but not least, and from the handbags right here that I have in my hands, um, there is this J. Crew bag. Let me close this because I want to show you guys like the cute shape of it. J. Crew, I feel like sometimes it's underrated with how cute the bags are, but look at how cute this is. Like it kind of reminds me of um, like a Fendi, where they have like this like the metal right there, but it has like the laser cut. Um, little like florets, I think, and then the gold hardware is just really pretty, and then the gray leather. I think everything just complements everything beautifully, and then the interior is just like the tan fabric, and yeah, it's in really good condition. It just has a little bit of like dust inside, it just needs to be vacuumed out, and yeah, it's just a beautiful tote bag. And this is perfect for fall, winter, like the color, the color is so like neutral that it really goes through the whole year which is awesome okay and then oh last but not least this is like the last little set of stuff i have to share with you guys and this stuff i got all from um from the veterans thrift uh first thing i have here is this really cute coach laptop case i think this is for a 13 inch laptop and it's in that like really pretty striped satin fabric so gorgeous and it just has like the, le the leather coach thing right there on the front and then even the interior is the same fabric as the outside it's just nice and really pra uh, really padded 
Um, and this guy was ten dollars. Oh, okay, this is really cute. Um, this little co um, fossil makeup bag. I love the print on this. This is a coated canvas, and the interior is just a black. And this was seventy-five cents. Oh, this is another one that I really like. It's a B. Mikowski. I love the style and design of it. It's like a little like faded on top. I don't know if I can restore it with some conditioning, but I feel like it totally goes with like the uh, the type of leather. Plus, like B. Mikowski, it, it like the, their leathers that do fade over time. Like that's a given. It will happen, and that's kind of like the beauty of the bag. Like it changes with you over time. It just grows more beautiful and gorgeous. And I feel like it has like a cool ombre effect, which I kind of like too. So. This, I think, is beautiful, and this one was $6.98. Oh, look at this. I thought this was so cool. Obviously, a Monstera Leaf obsessed. This is my set. Oh, this is... I had two Monstera Leaf things in this uh, haul. So, this is like a cool metal Monstera Leaf thing. Um, unfortunately, it's only for decorative purposes, and it's for indoor use. So, um, yeah, but I guess it was from Kohl's for $35 because there's a sticker on the back that says it that I didn't even notice before. But, um, isn't this cute? I'm really excited about this. Okay, up next, uh, I love this fossil bag so much. Like, the color, army green, I am obsessed. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't, it didn't come with the crossbody strap, but you can attach, like, any crossbody strap to this and it would look really fantastic. It has um, brass hardware and then the interior is nice and clean. The bag is actually in really, really great condition. It barely has any signs of wear at all and with just the missing crossbody strap, but you can definitely just add any crossbody strap again. And this actually sits really nicely on your shoulder as well. So, love it. I love the style of this. Plus, how cute is this? I always love like when um, not all fossil bags have the little key design thing, like the keyhole design. But I really like, I really like it when they have it. It makes me feel very like um, what's that one? I don't know. Like whenever I think of like keyholes, I always think of like Alice in Wonderland. Very whimsical. Okay, so I have to get this for like my little niece. I think this is. So stinking cute. And it is this little fake Louis Vuitton bag. It was $7. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get it because it's so adorable. It has like the little cherries on it. It's not even like a real leather, but it's just so cute anyway. And I just had to get it. So there's that. And then the last but not least item, the piece that is this stones after all of this, um, <laughs> is this Mark by Mark Jacobs little shoulder bag. I think it's so cute. Um, but it was only $10. I remember they actually had this listed at like $75 or something, but I don't know, like, like, I, like, I think what happened was that someone ripped off the tag or the tag somehow fell off and they had to reprice it or maybe it was just sitting there for so long and no one bought it that they had to lower the price. I feel like $75 was like way too intense for this. But, um, it's really, really cute though. And, I don't know, it's just like a fun little shoulder bag. And that's is going to end today's haul video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and checking out um, all this really great stuff that I found over the past few weeks. I'm sorry it was so long. I tried to go as quickly as possible, but if you guys um, enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. That always helps me. Don't forget to subscribe. I do post videos every single day. Check out today's vlog. It goes up at 2. Uh, and tomorrow's vlog or video goes up bright and early at 7. I'll see you guys later. See you guys all later. Bye. Yes. Halloween stuff. Okay. I found the rest of it. The vultures are kind of scary. Oh, I kind of like this mask. This is kind of fancy. Look at that. How much is this? $15. It's a little expensive. Those guys are kind of cool.